ability should be impeached. Reason, the kind of speed, the supersonic speed the government has used to do all this process is uh, making me to be suspicious, but there, that there's, there, there's a lot, there are a lot of things they wanted to hide in order to, con to make the process favor them. Rigidi, if Rigidi said that uh, there were shareholders, and it was a fact, how was it a fault? Okay. Okay. So, the, the fact that the government is taking the case very fast is making us to be suspicious that there's something fishy they are hiding. We have so many uh, pressing issues which government ought to have addressed rather than refugee impeachment. And my brothers from Mount Kenya, you made this bed. Please lie on it. We can just say sorry. I may, we may not like Gachagua, but we don't like how he has been handled. Maybe there's something they know that we don't do. They, 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 they were not supposed to, in, uh, to involve us to pretend that they are doing public participation because even what they were doing was not public participation. We are fearing our president. Number one, we have seen he has bought the opposition. Raila Odinga is in his pocket. He was not there during when they were making the shares, but he has come late. He has got any shares. Maybe Ru Mr. Ruto kept his shares in his pocket and we were not informed. So, we have seen opposition votes. We have seen both houses, parliament are in, po in the pocket. We are also seeing them going for judiciary. When those three are in, in one place, working towards common goal, common monarchy, we will never have our rights. According to the Constitution of Kenya, the DP should not be unpicked or appointed. It should be elected by the president. So I think what they are doing is not constitutional. And then they will create a scenario where you use a dumb situation where somebody will pick you as a running mate and after elections you get impeached. They will only need to buy the parliament and everything is done. So we have seen the three, the two arms of government together, that is parliament and the executive. The remaining side is the judiciary, which we are still fearing that may soon go and dine with them. Last point, let me talk about the globalist agenda, which the government is also helping, uh, helping to propel. <coughs> we have the things which, we have important sectors like agriculture, education, and health. Let me talk about agriculture. Agriculture is mostly affected because they first did away with our ancestral seeds, which could be reproduced easily by our farmers. They are now forcing us with seeds, which must be bought every season. Why? Why? So, I think the agriculture sector also needs a lot of work we have seen we have seen where the fertilizers are bought they either get lost or they are mixed by some unfamiliar materials then sold to our farmers which affects our agricultural sector 
So we want government which is concerned about the, way, uh, the whereabouts of the people. But the government we are seeing, we have no hope in it. And that is why we see when people are proposing the new health insurance, the insurance, the new health insurance, because we don't trust it. <laughs> the problem which was with NHIF was purely theft. Mr. President, how long will, you, will it take you to stand in the podium for even a five minute speech to end corruption in this country? We are not trusting government. We were on the street on 25th. So many of our young brothers and sisters died. We saw our Mr. President asking in the live television, is the boy alive? Is the child alive? The boy who was killed in Shanghai. So we have seen people who are not concerned. <coughs> Those who are in, in power when our children being killed are now being pressed to become the new deputy president. My last remark, please, Bonarigiji. Ukishuka, kama wamekutoa, tusalia kuangusha hii tawa of Babel. I know the pillar which is there to hold this tower of Babel in place, Israel Abolo Dina. Rigiji, toboa hezi siri. Angusha hii tawa of Babel. Sababu what, where the power of our president is resting right now is Raila Molotinga. If Raila defect with these ODM members and they join hands with the Rigiji sympathizers, those UDA members who are aligned to president will, know, will not have power in the parliament. We want the parliament which cannot be bought. And Raila Molodinga, sorry to say this, you have betrayed us. Even if there's something you know, which we don't know, we request to know about it. We needed this government to fall. Or we needed them to change their way of governance. How do you steal our public money? Then on Atuambia Utadu. You are beggars. You depend on our taxes. Now, because you have been given shares, when the president is traveling abroad, you are the one opening the door for him. You bear unam bebea notebook. To now bata EAU. EAU. Anguke to akwe to number two. Iyo number two to mezoea nayo. For many years. We not be shocked. Atuta kwa na mandamano international. Nakura enye iko Kenya ni kura moja tu ya president William Ruto. Tunaomba tu aguambo anguke hii EU seat. Arudi hapa. Alafa kinambari wa resign. Wale MPs wa achane ya. Wase kuingilia hapo. We are sad. We have much to say. And because of time, I want to invite other, I want to uh, allow other speakers to do the same. Government, listen to us. Revolution will come. There's another wave is coming, but it will come. However late it will be, it will come. And the learning to Mambo Yakishment Yarigiji, Mukitoka Apo, Mutuambia Villa Mutupangi Education, Mutuambia Villa Mepanga, Boresha Maisha Et, Pitia Health, Mutuambia. Vile new model funding is working with us. Mutuambie, why must you give us Adani? Kwa ni Adani? Hakuna airport kule India wanaeza tengeneza. Iyo airport lazima tengeneza tu hapa Kenya. Fight corruption. If you make the country corruption free, we shall have trusted people and the activities done in our country will be helpful to our people. Thank you very much. To the coming members, let us be within the contextual framework of the impact of the current judiciary uh, jurisdiction, the impact of the judiciary jurisdiction towards this case, okay? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, <coughs> for allowing me this chance to contribute to this motion. And uh, I want to say that the impeachment of Gashagwa 
is not about Kashagwa. This impeachment is not about Kashagwa. It is a precedent. We are trying to create a precedent for posterity, for the future. And that is why we as Kenyans, we are insisting that there must be seen to be procedural fairness, legal threshold, and public participation. Those three issues. Those three issues must be seen in this impeachment. We might hurry it today. Naza kuikimbiza kwa sababu tunamuchugia kashagua but hatujui na create president ambayo itatumika siku zijazo. Kwa hivyo tukifanya kila kitu inafaa tufanye kwa njia ya kwamba kesho itakuwa ni wewe ambayo utahitajika kufanywa hiyo kitu. Kwa sababu wa Kenya wengi hatujatosheka vile bunge ili handle hii masuala ya impeachment. Tuliona wa bunge wali create our members of parliament created a very bad president in this impeachment. They lowered the bar of the of impeaching a deputy president. It was like impeaching an MCA, not even a governor. Because MPs were heckling and shouting, some MP was saying, I must impeach him because he said my marriage will not last for six months. Another one said, I must impeach him because he never picks my calls. And there were various reasons. MPs lowered the, the bar of impeachment. And at the Senate, the same happened. So what I'm saying, this impeachment must create a president for the future. It must create a jurisprudence for the future, reference. Tunataka impeachment ambayo is a classic case at the Kenya School of Law. But what we have does not qualify to be a classic case at the Kenya School of Law. Na mimi nataka kushukuru sana. Katika impeachment. Mumesikia mkikuyu amepiga mutu. Mumesikia watu wa mulima wamepiga mutu. Wameumiza mutu. Wamechoma nyumba ya mutu. Wamechoma gari ya mutu. Amujesikia hiyo. That is a very nice president. Na mimi naomba wa dugu zetu wa kalenjin. Na sister zetu wa Rift Valley itakapo fika ruto anaenda mbihemu vile watu wa mlima wamebihemu <laughs> itakapo fika ruto anaenda mbihemu vile watu wa mlima wamebihemu watu wa mlima wametulia tu ndio kuna manunguniko wananungunika kidogo but hawajachoma gari hawajaumiza mtu that is the maturity we want in this country ile syndrome ya mtu wetu Inafaa isha. Vile watu wa mulima wa mepiehu, kia mizingine tuangalie, and we must copy that. Watu wa Rift Valley itakapo fika ruto anaenda, pihehu kama watu wa mulima. Watu wa Western, ikifika mudaba di anaenda, pihehu kama watu wa mulima. Watu wa Lonya Anza, ikifika ni Raila ana, anakua impeached, Pihevu kama watu wa mulima. Pihevu kama watu wa mulima. That is the president we are getting in this. I love the maturity the people of mulima have demonstrated in this impeachment period. I know it is a very trying moment for them. They have been tempted and provoked. They have been tempted and provoked to do bad things. But they have restrained themselves. They have, they have completely restrained themselves and chose to stay peaceful amid all the provocation. Na mimi nasifu watu wa mulima kwa hiyo. Kwa hivyo mimi na, na, narudia tu, ikifika wakati ruto ataenda. Sijui kama ataenda kesho ama kesho kutua, 
ama 2027 kwa election watu wa Rift Valley angalieni vile watu wa mlima wamebehave na nyinyi mbehave hivyo na nyinyi mbehave hivyo hii maswala iko katika mahakama na, tuna, na pia nimesikia watu wengine wakisema oh koti haina jurisdiction ya, ku, ya kusikiza mambo ya impeachment at we have what we call separation of powers the montesic principle of separation of powers montesic was a french philosopher judge and an author he is the one who invented the principle of separation of powers Separation of powers does not mean that the resolutions of the Senate or Parliament are immune. Are immune to intervention by the judiciary. The judiciary, kama judiciary ili nullify election hapa Kenya, presidential election, ninini judiciary yetu haiwezi nullify? The judiciary can nullify this impeachment. And people must, must stop threatening judges <coughs> people must stop threatening judges they must allow the law to take its course kama wanajua ni ukweli walifanya na kama wanajua kwamba hii impeachment ilistahili inafaa ma judges was were threatened wa handle hii case mpaka mwisho kama majaji watakuwa wataamua wata kunalify impeachment waseme haikufanyika katika njia mzuri na sisi wa Kenya wengi tunaomba ikuwe hivyo Naomba maombi yetu ni kwamba mahakama inalify. Mahakama ikisha nullify tutakuwa ni tutakuwa na deputy president ambaye ni opposition. Na atatufanyia kazi opposition akiwa nani? Deputy president. Vile Ruto alifanyia wa Kenya kazi opposition akiwa deputy president. Tunaomba pia Rigathi akue hivyo. Akue deputy president ambaye ni opposition. Atuambie ni nini watu wamekula kwa hii serikali. Nani amekula nini na amekula wapi? Tunaomba mahakama imrudishe. Kwa sababu ikishamrudisha hawataelewana hawatasalamiana. Yeye yeah, atashinda juu ya gari. Ya gari vile vile Ruto alikuwa anaishi juu ya gari. Na tutajua mengi. Siri ambazo hatujui tutafanya nini? Sio kama we ni mkenya ambaye unapenda hii nchi. Inavaa maombi yake kuwe kwamba mahakama irudishe nani? Tashagua. Na ikisha murudisha, hata vanya kazi na ruto, hata salemiana. Atakuwa deputy president ikisheria, but atakuwa na vanya kazi ya nini? Ya opposition. Sindio? Atakuwa deputy president na vanya kuna security ya serikali, magari za serikali, but anatufanyia sisi kazi ya opposition. That is what we want. Ndiyo tujue, kwa sababu ya ni truthful man, tunaomba tuambie katika hii serikali, nani amekula nini, kwa sababu yeye tumeambiwa ile amekula. Tumeshaambiwa. Tumeshaambiwa. So na yeye atuambie hao wengine wamekula nini? Atuambie Ruto amekula nini? Kama yeye alitengeneza 5.2 billion in 2 years. Kasha kwa mimi najua anajua ile Ruto ametengeneza ini 2 years. Na ukitaka kujua ile Ruto ametengeneza in 2 years, una multiply ya kasha kwa by 20. <laughs> Unapata ya Ruto so mimi nataka nimalize speaker kwa kusema hivi wa Kenya tujifunze vile tumehandle impeachment na tumekuwa watu wa amani we cannot solve anything through violence we shall never solve anything through violence you cannot solve anything through violence but we shall solve everything through the power of our vote through the power of our vote that is how we shall solve our issues Usimuchukie ndugu yako kwa sababu yeye ana support Ruto na wewe una support fulani. Ukumbuke kwamba kuna makabila ngapi hapa Kenya? Mbili. Mimi sijui makabila 44. Mimi I know two tribes. I know the tribe of the rich and the tribe of the poor. Hizo zingine mimi sijui. Wewe mwenye uko hapa you are my tribe. You are not a kamba, you are not a low. You are my tribe. Na wale wanaishi Karen, Mutaika in Elishua, Lavington, they belong to one tribe. So we have only two tribes in Kenya. That is what we should have in our mind. As we go in the next election, the 2022 election, the 2027 election, 
we must remember we are only two tribes in Kenya. Let me tell you, there are Kalenjins who are suffering in this government. Kusifikiri atuwa Kalenjini, kwa sababu ruto ni mkalenjini, atuwa Kalenjini wanasikia vizuri kwa iserekali. Kuna wakalenjini ambao wanataseka kwa iserekali, hii iserekali imewasukuma kando kwa mambo ya kilimo ya maindi, wanataseka. So we are united in anger, we are united in poverty, we are united in complaining, and we are united in everything as Kenyans. So mambo ya ukabila katikati yetu, uwaje. Usione mkalejini kama adui, usione mkikuyu kama adui, usione m... hata mungina ameniambia hapo Mr. Chairman as I finish. Mungina ameniambia mimi na support Ruto na yeye na mimi tulipigia Raila Kura. Ananiambia na support Ruto kulipisha kisasi. Kwa sababu hao watu walipigia Ruto wakasema Raila ni muganga. Let me tell you my brother. Let me tell you my brother. Hiyo cycle yenye uko ndani haitaisha. Kwa sababu tulisupport uhuru kupiga nani? Ruto. Mnakumbuka? Tulisupport uhuru kupiga Ruto. Kumbe tulikuwa nafanya Ruto akuwe president. Saa hii tusifanye mistake ya kusupport Ruto kupiga Gashagwa. Tutafanya Gashagwa akuwe nini? President. I'm not cheating you. Hii mambo ya kulipishana. Supremacy battles za communities inafaa ziisha. Inafaa ziisha. Kashakuwa na Ruto, na Raila, na wale wengine, wako kwa kabila moja, wako kule juu. Sizi tuko hapa chini. Tunasumburiwa na mambo ya shifu. Tunasumburiwa na mambo ya, 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 ya ukulima. Mambo ya elimu. Hiyo ndiyo mambo mbae ina unite sisi. Iko ndugu yangu hapa meongea mambo ya, ya hii global nini. Wa unajua kwamba very soon. Na tunapo ongea hivi. Tumepotelea kwa mambo ya kashekwa, we are busy kwa mambo ya kashekwa. Friday, tereshina tano, ni deadline, ya weo kusubmit ma, ma, mauni yako hapo kwa Senate. Ya kuongeza raisi miaka ngapi? Saba. Friday, hii week, deadline. Friday, Senate na kungwaji upeleka mauni yako. Ya kuongeza raisi ya kwe, kipindi ya raisi kwe miaka saba. Na unajua ikipitisho itasema nini? Itasema, this becomes effective in 2027. So hii ya tano ya ruto ya kwanza atuta esapu. Alavu tu, aende saba, alavu saba. Yote kumuna ti. Why jaka tu? I'm telling you the truth. Na ruto hame test numbers, hame ona hizo numbers. Hizo numbers hali test na impeachment. Haka ona hizi numbers, wacha nizi test na impeachment. Tione lete hii ya miaka saba. Na ya miaka saba itaingia. Hawa tuwa wili, Ruto na Gashagua walikuwa na tembea na bibilia, wakienda kandisani. Dorokas na Rachel ni pasta na reverend. Kama, kama raisi mkristo, awezi samahea deputy mkristo, sisi wanaichi atatufanya nini? Kwa nini raisi, kwa nini raisi mulev, uhuru kinyata, alisamahea, Raisi Mkristo Msumbufu. Asanteni sana bwana chama. Bunge power. Uh, my name is Daniel Kaindi. I'm a member of this parliament, a parliamentarian here. And an aspirant to my area, South Kinango of MP, forthcoming. So, mimi ni mekuja hapa kujaribu kupinga mambo ambayo naendelea kwa serikali. Hii serikali, wale ambao tuliangalia last time, last Sunday, Mashuja, you had the kind of speech the president made. Please mark it. Now we mark, we pay mark, mzuri, we grade. Ujue mahali tuko. Kitu ya pili, ningetaka kuongea, sita take time wana speaker, but nataka kusema, hii nchi mjue wa wana inchi, saa hizi nguvu, kuna vienye hatuna nguvu. Hatuna nguvu 
kulingana venye serikali inafanya maneno na inafanya chenye inaamua ndio inafanya example ni vile gashagu alitolewa mnajua vizuri ilikuwa inafanya inafai kuwa na public participation the public participation ilipangwa within a single night which was not supposed to happen like that then ikaenda ikaenda senate mlisikiza venye kulikuwa senate honorable members nataka tu mjue wale viongozi ambao tunadhania wako pale kutuongoza na kutusaidia siasa ya masuala ya nchi wale watu wako pale kujisaidia wenye na kujiridhisha ndio mimi ninasikia kero sana according to constitution an impeachment is supposed to be pronounced by IEBC impeachment ili pronounceo na CIBC secondly the nomination of Kindiki haikuwa right wacheni niwaambie ili IEBC i mean ili mtu anominatewe the president nominates then ana forward to the IEBC ili IEBC confirm the threshold but Ruto alifanya hivyo na akasema alipeleka kwa IEBC na IEBC ka confirm now the question is ni IEBC gani hiyo ndio mimi najua hakuna IEBC ama IEBC iko isipokuwa secretary hakuna but hiyo si kazi ya secretary ni kazi ya chairman wa IEBC sasa that is the duty of a chairman so wa IEBC sasa walimu hata ukipinga lakini nataka kuambia wananchi nataka tuongee ukweli wananchi leo after kesi ilipelekwa high court after kesi ilipelekwa high court Ruto ali propose na akasema hiyo kesi ifai kusikizwa high court at ni kesi matters regarding supreme court not high court me my question is yeah yeah na majaji nani anajua mahali kesi inafai iende anaingilia nini si hawatia wale majaji wafanye hivyo umesikia vizuri Martha alisema Martha kome mlisikia tu vizuri venye alisema this guy mwenye hajulikani kazi yake kwa serikali anaitwa Faruk Kibet Faruk Kibet amempigia simu amemthreaten na usinashindwa kazi ya Faruk ni gani nani anajua kazi ya Faruk <laughs> kazi ya Faruk Faruk ana position yote kwa serikali huyo ni CEO wa president ni kazi ya serikali member contribute don't engage members so so the member is engage members you have been a lot of disorder here but let me say this next week i mean this week on friday we expecting to go to the senate naomba hata kama tutakubalishwa kuingia huko ndani tungoje hapo nje jo the, the, the former speaker hapa amesema this thing watapitisha according to mambo yenye wameweka pale wamesema pesa yenye inapeangwa kwa governor iongezwe from 15% to 40% that means anajaribu ku kufurahisha au magovernor mtu yote ambaye ni elected anaongezewa term from 5 years to 7 years honorable members in case there is any nini na fai petitione na both parliaments my friend ile mambo ambayo tunapikiwa hapa whether kashagu ameenda ama hajaenda tunaumia wa Kenya na nyinyi wote najua mnajua tunaumia najua wengi wetu hapa we are unemployed for those whom we are employed tunajua the kind of money that we earn and after how long we get our money the kind of taxes kumesemekana leo housing levy inawekelewa na lazima utoe it is, it is according to the constitution me i'm like unalipa hii housing levy then uende uinunue kitu ya pili what is the assurance at wewe utapewa you know if serikali inataka kupea watu nyumba iko na funds za kutosha ijenge nyumba ipatie watu ulipe baadaye lakini saa hizi unaitishwa pesa pesa yenye ujui mahali itaenda si wangeata angeambia tu investors private investors wajenge nyumba 
wape watu mortgage pesa irudi lakini saa hizi unasikia unajengewa then itaenda hivyo and i'm very sure utakuja kuona venye uliona nyumba za serikali 1996 venye zilijengwa huko kwa stations na nini sasa hizi you know the kind of condition hizo nyumba ziko hata hazitumiki the same way ni funds zetu tu zitatumika pale na hakuna kutusaidia zitakuwa zikitusaidia so mi nataka tu tuopoze na ikiwa tunaweza moyo kila mtu mwenye kwa hapa tafadhali tutoe ni suggestions zetu tupeane senate before friday ili wakikosa kutusikiza we will be have a reason to force them listen to us because we are the Kenyans the power belongs to us thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much eh, kinango sawa wana bunge wewe ah mimi ni kwapa ah kusema mawili machache kuhusiana na yale ambayo yamelewa na kangu ama mbunge mtarajiwa wa kinango hiyo makadirio ni sawa na hii Uh, jambo la kwanza kabla sijaendelea ninataka tu mkosoa mwenzangu hapa uh, kulingana na sheria na ama mujibu wa katiba uh, kuna three arms of government and these three arms of government work independently and somehow they are dependent one of the thing you have to understand my my brother here the main arm of the government that is mandated to make law is the legislature or the national assembly where we have the upper house and the lower house once they are made laws these laws are carried to the executive what is the main function of the executive the main function of the executive is to enforce a law which has been made from the parliament once these laws have been uh, passed to the executive they carry them to the people they sensitize their needs and the importance of these laws after that should anybody break these laws that have been passed this law this one proceed to the judiciary where their main sole mandate is to interpret the law so that there is justice and fairness to the people uh, back to your question young man you stated very well that these things were passed and uh, you are not uh, happy with them let me tell you one thing the main sole mandate of legislature apart from just uh, making law we have what's called representation. Being that we are a democratic country, an MP represents your wishes and your aspiration of the constituents. For instance, now I'm a member from a Lego Songa. In a Lego Songa, my MP, Samuel Atandi, represent my wishes and aspiration of the national government. Whenever he talks, a total of 100 and 20,000 votes in a Lagos Songa constituency have been fully represented. Whenever I pronounce anything in the parliament, we believe that our needs, our interests, our failure have already been addressed there. So whether you are not happy or you are happy with the way the impeachment motion was passed, it was about representation. All of us, we can't fix in the National Assembly. We are almost 65 million. We can't fix there. And we must agree that we must delegate our powers to these people. Once we have delegated our powers to them, they are the one now to implement what you have given to them. Back to the current issue that is there in the court, according to the way my brother have already spoken. Uh, the, the Gashagwa faction were very sure that First, they were sure with the, the, the Senate. They were not sure with the National Assembly. And they said that they will be given a fair hearing. And in, indeed, a fair hearing was given. Nashago was there. He prosecuted his case. But the day, the day that he was supposed now to explain thoroughly, he failed. And due to time, there are things we can't postpone. Their nature cannot allow us to postpone them. There are things... The nature itself cannot allow us to postpone. An impeachment motion against the president, deputy president, we cannot allow that. We can't postpone that one now. We can postpone any other thing. Should anything happen to the president, then we don't have the deputy president. We'll be in a, in a constitutional crisis. 
because we love two deputies, we'll be scrambling for that opportunity. What will happen? So they said very well that they are sure of court uh, uh, assembly. Assembly has already done their work. It has now to the court. Now, they are now against the three beds that were constituted by the, the Supreme Court judge. My question to them, do you want to be the Supreme Court judge? You can't be the player at the same time you want to be the referee. You decide one thing, either be a player or be a referee. The referee is Chief Justice, Martha Kome. The way during our time, we disagree with the court by respect of the ruling. 2022, our 11 point agenda, our petition were quashed, term null and void, hot air. We disagree, but we respect the ruling of the court. And that's called democracy, as defined by Abraham Lincoln, the rule of majority. That's why the three bench judges that represent the entire uh, 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 justice that will be there, the court. So let them now accept the value that will be passed there. Number two, uh, the other issue that uh, my, my learned friend here talks about was about the constitution of the IBC. My brother, as per the 2010 constitution, it was really spelled out how IBC should be constituted. Whether we don't have commissioners does not mean that we don't have IBC. IBC exists. That IBC that cleared these candidates in 2022, they were cleared. And I think they presented their papers, all they were cleared. Which IBC did you answer to clear them again? If this candidate was clear in 2017, he was found to be fit to hold any public as MP. So long as you qualify to hold any constitutional office as, as an MP, you automatically qualify when you hold a bachelor degree. And I, I, th I think they should question how he obtained his bachelor degree in law. These are professor of law. That is what they should go and question, but they should not question how the IBC passed there. Or already, he was cleared by IBC 2022 general election. And that time, all the six commissioners were there. And as for now, we are still having IBC is there. The secretariat, that is one that carry all the functions. That's what is there. So I don't know why you're arguing that how this guy was not clear with the IBC. He was clear with the IBC. The only thing is to verify whether this guy met the requirement threshold of the constitution. He met. There's a member with a... Rising on a point of order. Yeah, point of order. Let him come this side, if you don't mind. Just stand close to him. Because you are rising on a point of order. Yeah. The current... Be louder. The current speaker. He says that Kiviki was cleared by the IBC in 2022. Kiviki never contested any seat. He never buy for any city. So in 2022, it was not clear. And it is so clear that the commissioners, not the secretary, the commissioners are the ones who clear somewhere. And that is why there is a constituency they wanted to withdraw their MPs. And the secretary is saying the IBC is not So don't try to Okay, let me remind him, say, say, listen, I just want to elaborate, listen, the secretariat is the employee of the IBC, I want to repeat, the secretariat is the employee of the IBC being led by the CEO, Marjan Hussein Marjan, the secretariat is the employee of the IBC, the commissioners employ them, the main function of the commissioners there is just to pass policies, their main mandate is about policy. This one is go and take and leave. We have to go and do the election now in Kenya. What is your point of order? Your point of order is your point of order. Let him clarify. Order, order. Signed the members. Order, let him clarify. I would like to clarify this. Clarify. The member on the floor is misleading the house. Yes. Currently, as we are talking here in Kenya, we've got two constituencies who doesn't have their MPs and several wards who doesn't have their MCs. Why are we not holding the election? 
an independent electoral and boundary commission. First, it was IIECC, the interim. After that, then it was changed to IEBC. And then it was agreed that now there shall be nine members. And for the nine members, they shall elect their chairperson. Then it was amended. When was it amended? It was amended in 2017 that from nine members, let us reduce them to six. And there was a clear reason why it was being amended like that. So from there, I want to understand this one, whether you take it to the court of law or court of justice, the justice that will be there, the question will be presented. Was there an IBC? That's the first question that they will get. Was there an IBC in the Republic of Kenya? By the time in the case, papers were presented to them. To whom? That is it. And what I'm telling you, whether the commissioners are not there, the secretariat is the employee of the commissioner who are vetted by the commissioner. And they are not the Who can clarify you? The secretariat the commissioners are policymakers. Oh. That's what is there. Can you wind up? I am winding up. I am winding up. Let him wind up. Let him wind up. Let him wind up. Let him weaknesses. And it was agreed that 20% of it were not good. And that's why we were given time to see whether we can implement the part that were good, so that we implement my brother. He's winding up. So he's winding up. I will only answer that question when he presented a valid document to me where I will also agree with that. Without any valid document, I can't argue with him. Yes, <laughs> For me to argue with him, I must have a valid document where it is written the way you are stating. You have it? <laughs> My brother, you have to prevent, present an evidence to me. Back to the politics. As I wind up the politics. As I wind up the politics. As I wind up, as I wind up, I can't massage the ego of everybody here. This Kenyan constitution accepted majority and minority. And with that one now, the National Assembly, majority of them, 200, uh, 280, had their say. In the Senate, majority, three quarters of them had their say. Now, uh, honorable members, I will urge you that now, we become a seaway the verdict of the IBC, or not, oh, sorry, 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 of the court. Whatever in court, we should not speculate it outside. Because now the case is active in court. And the lawyers of both parties are arguing, are presenting their cases to be heard before the three judges that were appointed by the judge, the high court judge, by the Supreme Court judge. <laughs> Let us now become as we the verdict. I know the verdict will be good, and we shall respect that. 2022, we, we never agreed with the court, but we respected their ruling. That's called justice. That's how justice is served under a democratic country. Last 
but not least. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we need uh, this. We need information. Uh, uh, we need uh, information. Conducted as per the law. Impeachment is a political process. God will only come to confirm whether they follow the law or they didn't follow the law. So from there, they will prove themselves. This is a political process. What will you do if now court say it is okay? The same way you protest now under the housing levy. The court itself already pronounced that it was collective pro anini uh, executed. The court only came to confirm whether the law was followed or law was not followed. Yes. Whether the law was compli complied with or not. Impeachment is a political process. Yeah. Take it to the bank. That's why the court says that we cannot interfere with the processes of the two, or of the body of the, uh, the this arm, legislature. Their main function is to make, amend, approve. They did their part. Now the function of the judiciary is just to come to confirm. Did you comply with the law <coughs> or not? Yes. Question, was the IBC there or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that they will only come to confirm. And should they confirm that there was IBC, what will you do? And that, that's where the case collapsed. Yes. <laughs> the case will collapse on Friday. So just expect it. Because according to us, we always see where the wind blows towards. This wind, the way it is blowing, how can you be a judge at the same time you are a lawyer? Beside one job, Alienda Kafanya ATP, Advocate Training Program, you can only be one person there. You can only be a listener or somebody that is now also listening to the other side. So, the lawyers of Kashagwa, prepare yourself. Ongoya, you had a very big English. We want you not to speak English where now people who can speak English are there. We delegate, delegate our power to them. Sasa Muzunguze Kingereza, cross immigration Kuja by Friday. Court is going to pronounce themselves and prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We are prepared. I am ready. So thank you for those remarks. <laughs> Wacha pia mimi niongelee maneno ya kuuza kashabu. Kashabu kitu cha kwanza alijikoroga mwenyewe. Yeah. Kukubaliana hapa. Yeah. Ile sahi kitu kashabu wanataka kukurudisha kwa ofisi ili arzai. Na hiyo kitu angefanya kitampo. Kishaka kashabu hakujua maneno maneno itafika mahali penye imefika. Kashabu ame amekaa on a point of denial. Alikuwa anasema anaenda kupigana. Waje twende tusukumane Senate. Sasa hii tumefikishana kotini. Sasa hii as we are, we are talking hakuna ofisi ya deputy president. Hakuna mfanyakazi pale mwe anafanya kazi. So ile kitu kashagwa mimi nimesikia amepigia simu loya mmoja, deni jaji mmoja amzu am, amkubali tu arudi ofisi then arizain. Because Eh, the Kenyan at to fight on to endelea kuongea maneno ya kashagwa maneno ya kashagwa imeisha kama unafikiria maneno ya kashagwa itarudi tena then maneno ya kashagwa imeisha kashagwa atarudi ofisi i'm telling you kashagwa hatarudi ofisi 
What we supposed to do as Kenyans? What we are supposed to Yes, you give him a chance to rebut. I'll give you time for rebution, sir. As Kenyan, as, as, as Kenyan, we need to know how we are going to celebrate what has happened during the impeachment. Hii maneno ya kulialia maneno ya kashago tu tuangalie tutaziba namna gani hiyo hiyo ufa yenye tumeona ya kwamba watu wachache wanaimpeach mtu mwenye amechaguliwa na watu karibu milioni saba. Hiyo ndio swali tunataka tujiulize. This constitution we, we, we have to look on it. Tuangalie ndani ya constitution hata kama ni kama with a bill which I have had uh, my friend here in, in Bunge are preparing to come up with a bill whereby after the impeachment of deputy president, president, or the speaker of two houses, irudi sasa kwa wanainji, wapige kura, kuna haja kwenda, kwenda wapi, kwenda nini, senate. You will cure this one. Latini kama nyinyi, munakuja hapa, Munasema ya kwamba ati kashakwa sijui nini 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 nini. Hii kitu imepita na event. We need to salvage it. Another thing, another thing that you, we need to do as Kenyan. Tuangali hii maneno kwa sababu. Kesho kesho. Utasiki impeachment ya, ya speaker. Either wa senate or wa parliament. Mutaanda kulia hapa ati ya kwamba ho muna impeach ya sisi hapa. Let us now construct our constitution. To engage in the pegele, you to attack if one man it's idea. Come and present and be chua. Is she happy? Kwa kwa ni kwa kwa parliament. Then he rude kwetu. Ekisha rude kwetu through IBC to amu e kama tunda ka aende amasi aende. Lakini kama muliachia watu watu wachache wenye wanaza hongwa. Then we must endeavour to pick a kelele mudamrevu. Ya pili, Mr. Speaker. Tunataka tuangalie maneno ya CDF. Dina tuzu sana. Tunataka elected seats zutolewe CDF. CDF ikuje as a special kwa nini? Kwa Minister of Education. So that watoto wetu wa faida mna gani? Wasome bure. Pesa mingi inapotea. Nyingi saye hapo mko kwa kashagwa. Hao na hawa kwa kuongeza siku. Nimaona hapo mbunga kilalamika kuhusu kuongeza siku. Na ya andaka kukua mbunga. Sasa swali ni, akiwa mbunga ataka miaka 5 ama atakubali hiyo miaka 6 hata kama wataongeza miaka 10 responsibility ni nyinyi chagua ule mtu mwenye atakufanyia kazi We unapinga hapo kuhusu miaka 7 miaka 5 hii umekosa kuchagua ule mtu anakufanyia kazi unalamika sasa weka miaka 2 bado utachagua mtu mwenye hakufanyii kazi sasa nani mbaya si ni wewe hmm? lazima tuambieni ukweli tunataka kama hata wanaongeza miaka 10 but wewe kama mpiga mpiga jukura vile wewe unapenda 500 100 200 chagua tu ule mwenye atakuja kufanya namna gani kufanya zenye wanafanya saa hii eh tunafaa twende referendum tuangalie hakuna muda atainpichiwa huko rudisho hapa tuone kwamba wananchi wanataka nini waachane maneno public participation waache public participation hii irudisho in form of voting kupitia kwa IBC sasa wewe ungekuwa mnalia hivyo ya mwisho Mr. Speaker, nikimalizia. Umepata ya kwamba e, baada ya kutoa hii hii ni hii ni, ni, ni CDF kwa centralize. Ikisha kwa wananchi wetu watasaidika. Wakifaidika hata kuja kupiga hapa makelele. Hii makelele haisaidii. Sisi kama bunge you can come up with a nini with a bill na ukusanye 1 million of the new signatures. Na yende mahali. Sasa kukuja kama you, we are able. Kukuja hapa na kupiga kelele ya kwamba. Kashago wa siende. Kashago wa rudi. Na kashago wa saya mefukusua. Kashago wa mefukusua. <laughs> Tuwele wane. Kutapia kelele hapa lakini kashago wa mefukusua. Ne uyo muta atakani kwa sports serikali. Kashago wa ajasoma 48 law of power. Na hiyo ni mimunyonga. Kashago wa mekanyaga red line. Na ni memalizia hapo.
Asante sana mwenyekiti. Anipa fursa hii. Mbele ya wenzangu. Sauti. I may not be right, but I stand to be corrected. I beg to differ with the motion that we are holding right now. I don't support whether the impeachment of Kashako was right, or I don't support whether the impeachment of Kashako was wrong. No. Here is my question. I say. Yes, members, I'm neutral. All of us here, we were here in Kenya, where Kashakwa, Kashakwa's accounts was frozen. Kashakwa was a criminal. And how comes? He was cleared by the IBC to be the deputy president of Kenya. Yeah, yeah, and you are not right now, right now, right now is the same, the same government that, say, that is saying Kashakwa is wrong. Are they approved? They approved. Where are we as Kenyans? We should stop this nonsense we are doing and tell Ruto and his company in the, in the name of Kenyans and the parliamentarians to leave and give us power. As for the constitution of Kenya, we know that the power of the, the power of the country lies in the hands of the people. And here in Kenya, we have no powers as Kenyans, my friend. Ruto is taking each and everything in government. He has taken over the parliament, he has taken over the senate, he has taken over the judiciary. Where are we heading to as Kenyans? Now you are not Last, I beg to move out, slightly out of the emotion. The current syllabus of our country, CBC, I'm a parent. Yes. And I, 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 I really feel bitter. My sons and my daughters have been taken as the specimens in the laboratory. Sure. When the, uh, still up, the current syllabus of Kenya is taking our kids, those kids cannot compete anywhere in the world, my friend. My friend, uh, as we are speaking right now, there's a student in the interior part of Kenya who cannot even operate a simple mo mobile phone. There's a student in Smoke Kenya who have never seen this line. No, 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 we are not allowed. One of the rules that was there, how can you destroy somebody's life, the entire primary life, of 11 years to destroy in three days? How? Yes. Yes. Is it I'm, 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 here, I'm here to answer you, my friend. Number two, how do you destroy somebody's life in secondary school in a period of four years in 21 days? Is it fair? Uh, it's not fair. <laughs> I'm here to answer you. Yes, answer it. Yes, answer it. Yes. As the eight four four syllabus, yes, yes, yes. I saw our teachers who have been taken to colleges to train for three years. Yes. Our high school teachers were training for four, four, four years. years. Yes. Our lawyers were training for seven years. Yes. Kindly answer to me, confirm to me. Is there MCBC teacher who was trained for more than a year? Yes. No, 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 no. 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 No, Hey, <laughs> <laughs>
The impeached deputy president. Like a as impeached. Come on, impeach is a former. Yes. That's the truth. Yes. And we have a nominated, which was in fact confirmed and as appointed deputy president. Through the Kenya Gazette. Oh, yes, Joffrey. As Kenyans, we have no problem with Gaza Gashakwa. Hapa Kenya, kila mtu akona, akona haki yake ya kuwa mkenya. Bile Gaza Gashakwa kona haki, bile mini kona haki. Now my point is this, Mr. Speaker. Unajua hapa, hapa bunge, watu wakona vitu mingi, kila mtu najua vile najua. Na mimi I'll give you time to contribute. No time for you. I'll give you time. Two I'll give you time. I'll give you time. Waje maliza utakuja kuingia. Hapana na nani kelele. Kanwiga the speaker of rule that at a given time, let us continue. I'll give you time to contribute. Yes. 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 Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think we can have rules that never will continue. You will continue after him. Thank you. Thank you. After him. Yes. After him. Yes. After him. Yes. After him. Yes. You will contribute. I just take him two minutes. 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 I wanted to say this to Mr. Joffrey. I want 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 to I want to contribute together and discuss the again. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to say this, Mr. Speaker. Me, I respect the Gatika Shagwa so much. But we have to respect even this our country. Was a babu palitu to quad na elekea. Akuna mtuange penda atengwe kama m Kenya. I want to feel a Kenyan at an Ikenda Central. Yes. But kukuja kutuambia tikuna unam Kenya, unamtu wa mulima, unamtu wa sijum rima na whatever. How about not going to differ now the former deputy president? Yes, sir. Let me not say my name very simple. Let me not say my name very simple. The pili. Adwezi ka unajua ima neno kitu nataka kwa nataka kusema. Unasema hapa hizi bitu wet. Something goes around, comes around. Sindio? Yes. Na hiza kumbuka July tukiwa hapa tunakumbia kwa street na Raila Molo Dinga. Jamaa likuwa pale juja. Akiwa pale mangu high school. Akasema vizuri ban. Hawa watu tutawarudishia security. Wakati wamewacha mandamano. After three months. Sasa mimi nika kwa TV. Nika hona ndugu yangu. Wametoka pale na rafo. SUV. Nika sema hizi security pia tunataka kufanya na yokazi. Because kuna wimo zigini tunasikia wakipa hapa watu wa mulima. Hata zi tunawagopa. Lazima tuweke ma security wengi kuchunguza hizo wimo wanaimba hizi tukani. Ya tatu. Sisi ya tuna shida ni zikazi kashia kwa tatu kimuambia bye bye. Kwa sababu, we are going to benefit. Hii kitu tulisema, ila zima ni ya mulima. 
hata tukitoa tukitoa kindiki leo lazima tuarudisha hiyo kitu kwa mlima sasa watu wa mlima nyinyi mjipange hiyo kiti ni yenu tunatoa kindiki tunaweka mtu wa mlima mwingine tunatoa nini tunaweka hiyo kitu kwa mlima so usipige kelele so ndio kwa sababu kwa sababu tuko naambia watu wa mlima tulika chini na watu wa embu na watu wa meru na watu wa hao watu wa wakiyema yote tawaka wakasema yenyewe tumetembea na ndugu zetu sana mimi natoka Nyanza wakatuambia tumetembea na ndugu zetu sana na ndugu zetu tumetembea nao wameshindana kusema tu ni nyeri kiambu nyeri kiambu na wanasema sisi ni wakikuyu tukawauliza nyinyi mnataka tuwasaidie namna gani wakasema sisi shida yetu ni moja tu kura mnataka tu wale ma MPs wenyu wapige kura Sisi hatukuchakua William Ruto. William Ruto alitoka kwa Mungu tatuliambiwa watu wa Central ndio walikuambia. Huyo ni ndugu wa Kristo, ndugu wa Yesu. Atungepiga ndugu wa Yesu. Alituambia au jamaa ametoka huko kwa Kristo. Na tukasema ni maombi. Na tukisikia wakinapasa kama hao watatuambia ati wameanza kusema ati tunafaa kuongea my friend. Sisi katiba inasema vizuri. If the misconduct ya deputy ama president Hao wabunge wako na authority on our behalf. Kwenda kukaa chini na kuangalia shida zake. Sisi hata tuliona pale Senate. Rikaze Kashako walimreport na 11 accounts. Lakini wakasema tano na ile imshika. But hizi sita si hata wenyewe nyinyi na macho mliona hakuna kitu kipo pale. Na kwa hizi tano tunasema Mr. Speaker Aina reform suri after 10 years atakuja kama me reform because si miaka mingi sana. Ni 10 years tu labda anakuja Na hii kitu tutachukua tumeenda nayo mlima. Tumetoa mlima. Kindiki pia ni mwanadamu na pia ni one of members of Gema. Kuja kukoroga mimi ni Mr. Speaker nikimaliza nikisema hii. Nasikia wengine wanasema oh marara ilo dinga nilikuwa nasikia imu endazimu anaitwa Kimani Kinjuri. Anakuja kusema ati Railo Dinga alienda hapo akafanya tukakorogewa my friend Kusho na mwanaume analia before atakupigwa mtoto jakufa bibi jakufa mama jakufa baba jakufa mwanaume unatoa machozi mwanaume ai ai Mr Speaker hata kama ni hivyo Tukimaliza Mr Speaker nikimaliza Kuna hii group inakuja hapa ati wanasema ati sisi yo watanduo mara ni hivi mara wanduo my friend Sisi vita zenyu 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 atuwezikilia vita zenyu watu kama maukeli we are ready. We are ready. We are ready We are going to see Mount Kenya. We are going to go Masikio <laughs> <laughs> Kwa nini ambaye anasema hivi? Majaji. Majaji. Mazai. Mazai. Mazai na baada ya kuwa sasa. Let me draw that. Ignore, ignore. Mimi nasema hivi. Majaji ambaye wako high court. Ndio wameweka maneno na ma lawyers wa government. Waka wakijaribu kuongea kama nyinyi wakaambiwa huyu si goma. Constitutional hiyo ni ya kwanza. Na kama wewe kama wewe uko na kiti timamu tafadhali ongea ukweli na ukweli itakuweka huru. Neno la pili. Mimi sitaki niende mambo mengi sana. Neno la pili. Kazagu anaanza kuwa kwamba umemchukia. 
lakini ukua na mchukia, ongea kama mtu ambaya nae lewa, na kwa nini na mchukia, na akitoke na kubaini na nini. Nina shindwa, ni kwa nini wawo na vraya, ukisema uyu, uyu atoke, weke mwingini. Na ukiuliza na huyu akitoka kwa nini siungie wewe mwenyewe? Eh huwa kwamba unakuwa zaidi ya 800 kwa akili ukiwa kama unashinda kungangana na kashagu atoke. Hata akitoka aiweke kindiki ama aiweke mamako bado utalimeni kwa shida ama chimajiji simu. Kwa hivyo ile kitu ambayo ile kitu ambayo Nasema hivi kwa wale ambao wanielewi wale ambao wanielewi ndio nabia kelele na mimi ningesema hivi on my side on my side kama ningeulizwa hii kiti baada ya kashakwa kutoka ningesema ningebewa leader wa, wa azimio kwa sababu sisi ndio tuko na kiu ya kupiga nayo kiti mara nyingi sana. Na tumeangaika dunia hii mpaka sasa tunataka kuwa president wa Afrika. Na tumekosa. Kwa sababu hizi ndio tunatamaa sana ningependa kwanza tupewe sisi kwanza watu wazimio. Na mnaelewa ninaposema watu wazimio nasema nini? Ukubwa wazimio. Hii ni aibu kubwa sana. Wacha niwaambie ukweli. Lazima tuanze kumfuata mama na utaratibu. Mimi sisemi kwamba kashagwe ni mtu mzuri kwa huu. Na sisemi kwamba kashagwe anampenda. Mimi si mguwezi wa kashagwe. Lakini mimi ni simbaleza wa kashagwa kwa sababu naiona kwa umbali naona biga picha kwa sababu najua kesho itakuwa ni mimi uwezi kuwa mtu mwenye mwenye akili timamu na unangangana ukitaka huyu atolewe kama vile ndio vani na basi ya kuweka mwingine nataka kuambia hivi in 1965 jarama huko odinga 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 alipendekeza ni parliament na the same same character na watu kama nyinyi wa enzi hizo ambao walikuwa na tabia kama hiyo hiyo tu mko naye wakisema kwamba tunataka kuwa na judiciary without trial ye ndio walikuwa kwanza kuingia hapo kwani amwezi kujisomesha hata ukionyeshwa hata ukipika kama uji umtaremuka lini watu wangu tafadhali ni hebu kubwa sana watu wa bunge la mwananchi na huwa na expect kwamba ni watu wa elevi but tumekuja kupata mafala ambayo wana akili kama ya mtoto mdogo ambayo wakati ambao naongea kazi yake ni kupiga kelele na kuzinda kidanganya watu ya in government as who jiulize swali fikiria kama mtu mzima si lazima atishinde kila wakati ukiambiwa ama unazinda ukitokeshana na na, na speaker ukimwambia oh, oh, wewe unajua sisi tuko kani ya government kwa na speaker wewe ukiongea hivyo wewe watu wale ukuona kwa hiyo media social media wanakuonanga wanakuchukuanga acha na wewe ni mtu mzima behave kama watu tafadhali akili akili ni kitu ya maana sana ni hali ukoze nguo kwa sababu naweza ajua na marafiki kuliko kukosa bunge la mwananchi bunge la mwananchi bunge la mwananchi tunakuanga hapa kufundishana i mean kuelimishana na kujua zaidi na siku kufanya tu vitu kisaiko fancy kwa kweli kitu iko regarding gashagwa bado ni deputy president of this republic of kenya upende usipende gashagwa bado ni deputy president lakini kisiasa gashagwa ni former deputy president kisiasa kuna tofauti ya siasa na sheria kuna tofauti ya siasa na she, na sheria nao tunafuata sheria sasa sheria iko hivi ukiangalia vitu ziliendelea pale senate azikufuata utaratibu zote ambaye inafai fuatiliwe Koti imesimamisha na koti lazima tuheshimu sheria. Kama tunataka hii inchi iwe inchi ya sheria, lazima tuheshimu koti. Lakini nikirudi kisiasa. Kenya yetu ni kama tunafanya bendova dance. Tunafanya bendova dance. Saa hii tumechanganyikiwa hadi 
mtu ambaye anajiita rais ana ana nini yani anaandika off eti anaenda ili aende kotini wakati gani umeona president akinda kotini hata uru kenyata alijaribu wakati wa e, nini ile ile nini yao na raila ilikuwa inaitwa nini bbi na koti limkataza ya kwamba haezi fanya nini haezi enda kusimama pale na hii tumechanganyikiwa hadi rais mwenyewe ame nini off Ujinga tupu kwa hii nchi yetu. Ujinga tupu. No. Mimi mimi sishughuliki na wapiga kelele. Mimi najaribu kuelimisha watu. Kenya Kenya malituko saa hii. Kenya malituko saa hii. Kenya malituko saa hii. Hawa hawa watu wa Kenya kuisha hawa yule pasta aliomba maombi ya haki na ni ukweli Mungu alikuwa na yeye wakati alikuwa naomba wakati alisema Mungu hii Kenya kuisha na yenyewe ilikuwa Kenya kuisha saa hii ndio tunaona Kenya inaisha Kenya inaisha namna gani Hapa tunaona kama mtu atalambishwa chini ni katiba ndio inaenda kukua ben. Tuongee ukweli. Tusi, mtu asipoenda chini katiba ndio ita a, achiliwa. Kwa saa hii hatuna IEBC. Ni nani ata declare the seat of the deputy president vacant? Tujiulize maswali mingi. Haya. Naendelea. Naendelea. Haya. Kesi ambaye Rigathi Gashagwa ameweka kotini. Mara unasikia ingine iko nyeri, mara ingine iko wapi, mara ingine iko wapi, mara ingine iko hapa. Nawaambia kama kweli Ruto kama kweli Ruto atafuata katiba vile uhuru alikuwa anafuata hadi anaacha vitu zake zinanguka hii kesi msione ikiisha saa hii hii kesi itaenda zaidi ya miaka tatu. na rigathi gachagua atakuwa deputy president until 2027 na weza weza gashagua weza gashagua weza weza gashagua hata pewa security tena weza weza gashagua atakuwa na security lakini ya muhimu ni bora baada naitwa nani deputy president anakula nini anakula mshahara so Hakuna kitu ambaye hao watu wanafanya. Huu mtu atakuwa anakula mshahara wa bure na atakuwa bado anaitwa deputy president. So na nikimalizia bwana speaker. Nikimalizia. Nikimalizia bwana speaker. Nikimalizia. Kwa saa hii deputy president ambaye ni Rigathi Gachagua analia ya kwamba ameachwa bila security. Mbona kuna Kiswahili ambaye inasema hivi nyani aoni kundule Huyu huyu rigadhi huyu huyu rigadhi Wakati uhuru alikuwa anasema ya kwamba e, masecurity wake wamechukuliwa Alisema nini Aliambia huyu Kenyata aende achukue KK nini KK security so hata pia sisi hapa tunamwambia akachukue G4S imlinde hapa yenye kwa watu wa milima watu wa milima wamlinde lakini ukweli na bado yeye ni deputy president
So, when you look at the whole thing, and we're in business when they may have that. Mr. Speaker, why can't you appoint this man to be the agent of Sergeant Adam? This young man here. What them skis? Yes. Mine is to say the whole process of impeachment. He may perform bio public participation. Muliona vitu silifanyika. Haikuwa fair. Dashawa amekuwa kilia, amewekewa sumu. You don't want to give him space. Aongee vitu ameona. Accept this government. Yes, those are serious allegations. Those are serious allegations. The deputy president has raised very serious allegations. Zinafaa zifanyiwe. Inafaa ifanyiwe uchunguzi. Na hii ni ukweli. Niliona akikura sumu kisumu. It's only sympathy. No, it's a sympathy. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Oh, you know, 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 you Tumefunzwa na hii impeachment na tumechua hivi. Hii process imeperekwa mbio sana. Muliona which means iko na some Biden agenda. Sasa tukichua hivyo No you cannot inform me I'm going to remember. So your opinion continues. Mr. Speaker, you are free to say your opinion continues. Hakuna leo jamaa atuambia process ilienda mbio. Kwani wewe ulikuwa unataka ile namna gani? Kwa sababu mimi ni sasa toka kutoka JKA it doesn't matter when you are going to use a tuk tuk. We are the serious things. 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 Adani, but Mambo Yagasha want two days. We want that is a shower, a fair hearing. The shower is a Kenyan, the shower is a Kenyan. We need to be given a hearing.
Ana mimi kama kuna kitu moja ningeambia ningependa kuambia deputy president usiogope sema saba venye mlipo hizo kura tujue venye ilifunguliwa usiogope fungua kila kitu mahali adani pesa siliwekwa fungua we are ready sisi tumefinywa kila mahali mahali imefika kwa kitu wapinye tumefia kwanza hapa mahali ambapo tunahutubia inaomba kwa hieli yenu kesho tukuje na shilingi kumi kumi kila mmoja wetu tupaweke semente vizuri kwa sababu naona hapa tutakujikia mkuu haya tukianza na tukiendelea nina huzuni mimi kama mkenya hata sisemi mimi kwenye natoka kwa sababu mimi ni mkenya mimi naona tuko na shida mambo na impeachment ya vice president na president vita, vita za hawa viongozi wetu wawili zitusibebea akili sisi kama wa Kenya. Kwa Kenya kwa ground tunaumea bwana. Hospitalini watoto wetu, wazazi wetu, sisi vijana tunakuvia kwa kashwate kwa sababu hatuna bima ya afya. President wetu atuambie ile mikakati yenye amewekea wa Kenya ya health education watoto wetu bwana tunaumia wa Kenya wa kiwango cha chini bwana hawa wenye wanaitwa mahasura bwana mwai kibaki alipochukua ushukani wa uongozi katika taifa hili la Kenya aliangalia ile shida ililetwa kwa maskini wa kawaida na Mr Moi huyu jamaa kaona hataweza kutufungulia akaunti kama vyenye baba alikuwa ametuahidi elfu sita kwa mwezi Kibaki akaona hata beki Kibaki akaona ile ili tusaidike ili sisi wa Kenya tusaidike Bwana eh Kibaki akaona ule mfumo na ile mbili watatumia ni ya kutengeneza kuondoa ujinga katika taifa la Kenya akatuletea masomo ya bure Fred occasion kwa wakati huu tunamuona kiongozi wetu wa taifa hapa akileta kiburi akileta kisirani anatuambia ako na mambo matatu ati yeye amejipanga yeye anajua vyenye anafanya na yeye sio mjinga so sisi milioni ya hamsini sisi ndio wajinga yeye atajua sisi sio wajinga atuambie yeye elimu atarudisha masomo ya bure ya his excellency mwai kibaki kutoka hapo tafadhali muheshimiwa rais wako mimi kama mkenya ambaye unaongoza ambaye alikupigia kura nakwambia my dear friend hiyo mpango uko nayo katika bunge la senate ya kubadilisha vipengele ya aina tofauti tofauti za katiba ati ili wewe tusipatane na wewe kwa uringo wa uchaguzi wa ballot paper in 2027 my dear friend is how you hiyo ni ndoto ati unataka kuweka miaka saba ili miaka tano ishe alafu ile saba ikuje so unataka ku rule our country Kenya for 12 years without election hiyo ni ndoto yako mimi siwezi ongea mambo mingi kwanza ninataka niseme ya kwamba e, sisi kama wananchi wa Kenya tuwe wasalendo ningependa kufulia kofia watu wa Mount Kenya kwa sababu kama kungelikuwa na watu ambaye wako na heshima ni watu wa Mount Kenya wamekuwa tulifu wamekuwa tulifu pia wamekuwa tulifu licha ya hii mambo yote ambaye serikali wanakorokana tunataka watu wa Mount Kenya watusikilize wa Kenya tukisema kwamba sisi wa Kenya ni kitu moja hii serikali ambayo imetuunganisha sisi kama wa Kenya 
tuhakikishe ya kwamba wamekuwa serikali ambaye wanaangalia wa Kenya. Sisi mimi ninaona tumoja hapa. Ninaona William Ruto tafadhali tuwaomba president. Aisha kan kiberenge. Jaribu dali uende polepole. Jaribu ufuate sheria. Hata kama kulikuwa na jambo lolote ambayo mlikosania na deputy wako, jaribu ufuatilie sheria vizuri sana kwa sababu tunajaribu tunaona kama kama wa Kenya tunaona kama unakimbia sana. Jaribu fuatilia sheria kama sheria imesemekana ya kwamba eh, naibu wa rais bado ni rekadi kashagwa tafadhali fuata sheria vile inaenda. Sisi tumekuchagua na tunakuaminia na tunajua kwamba utafanya kazi na tunajua kwamba mtafanya kazi na Raila la mwisho. Ukimaliza kumtoa kashagwa na uweke kindiki vile umesema kindiki ndio atakuwa deputy president wako tafadhali baada ya hiyo tunataka ukae chini na serikali yako tunataka zile huduma sote ambayo ulikuwa unasema utatufanyia utufanyie kwa sababu bado kuna chochote umetufanyia Thank you so much Mr Chairman. Nitaenda haraka sana. Nitaenda haraka sana. Anataka mkoa ina order nimaliza mimi I don't fool people but. Sawa. Ah Mr Chairman kwa majina naitwa James Jeroge na mimi ni bunge wa Karatina. Ndanza hivi. A death of a old man in the society is like a burnt library. Au umesikia I like that silent. Kwa sababu you see this kind of energy ni makosa yetu. The reason why to kuna hii energy Kenya yetu because of two things that happened. One, God gave us a, a solution 2022 and because we voted because of the emotion, feelings and hate. That's why it took up. Two. I'll break them down. There are two points. Two. You refuse the hand of God. I will explain. Number one, we kuja kwa hii ya pili. God gave us a chance to make right decision. 2022 and because of chupi yetu ubinafsi yetu na ukabila na mambo kujifanya ya so spiritual ndio fanya tumekuwa wapi tumekuwa hapa the reason why nasema hivi you hate railo diga last time ulikuwa mnachukia uhuru kenyata na other people who are advising you that you see me mimi nimekuwa na huyu jamaa namjua and we know because you hate the laws you hate railo dinga and that's why i'm saying a band uh, a death of a old man in a society is like a band library so ndio nasema hivi chuki inazafanya ulu something good i give you example unaweza hawa prostitute wache dem ya ushago because dem ya nini ya prostitute apo wame make makeup na mabig ass vitu kama hizo we ignore na mtu wa ushago ule dem ya ushago huisa wife material umuache tu kwa sababu ananuka jasho so Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So that's why nasema hivi. We had time, we had time 2022 to make right decision. Now because of chupi yetu ndio tumefanya mali tumefika. So that's why nafanya nasema hivi my fellow Kenyan. So that's why nafanya nasema hivi my fellow Kenyan. It is sometimes let us be sober and love this our country. Because I don't know hii energy tuko nayo sahi. The reason why people are celebrating other those people not because they love Ruto but to teach you something that musichekelewa vile wa kiumia. Number 2. Nikienda kwa point 2. Let me also give you a msemo. No matter how hot your anger is, remember it cannot cook the arm. Nasema hivi. Because God love Kenya so much, tulifanya makosa 2022. Hapa 2023, 2024 tuko sahi, God send a hand of hand of God was sent to us through Gen Z. Tuliwaweka ni hand of Gashagwa. That's why we are suffering again. Gen Z walikuja na formula ya kwamba wako na ukabila, wako wampenda nini, wako wampenda Gashagwa, wako wampenda Ruto, wako wampenda all the politicians. Walikuwa wameleta political hygiene, mukarabish. That's why we are suffering. So that's why tunasema hivi my fellow Kenyans, to shall confirm for us to be disciplined. We have kutoke kwa hii mambo mnajifanya sisi ni watu wa Mungu. 
So my fellow Kenyans, as I conclude, Mr. Chairman, because time is going to Yes. And also to Mr. President, don't call a, a, a house that shelter you a jungle. Do you remember? Regarding the shago we mungi na we decide to criticize. Kuna siku alitolewa kwa nyumba yake uchi because he was defending Ruto. How easily do you forget? So that's why I say, sometimes you have to go to have political manner. Nini pia sisi kama wakikuyu kitu tufanye sasa hii. Let's also come and apologize to Kenya that we made a mistake so that they can support. But this energy mko nayo sasa hii, mngongezea Gen Z ama tungerizo nayo ile 2027 atunge kwa na hii shida. That's why Nasema, Mupende Musipende. This old man will deny here in a Mulu Dinga. Sometimes it's a vision to us. Yes. Always. Yes. And because. Because the interest of time. And because we hate this old man. But sometimes in a company our solution. Because I'm very sure. I'm very sure. And if you can take this to the bank, I think you can write a model thing and question about the Karua Ivi. Because he loved the Kiku community. But the Kiku community hates this old man. That's why you have to come back and withdraw Ilya Osmoli to Kuakwamba. You will not vote a Luo candidate. You are Osmoli Sadek Kutoa. So that's why I'm going to say it. A stone that has, th has been thrown by hunger, always don't eat the target. You throw that stone by punishing Marela Bolo Dinga and Uru Kenyatta. That's why he's not ge getting the target. Thank you so much, Mr. Yama. Today, I will be very brief. in coming governor Nairobi Therefore, as I continue, Mr. Speaker, my advice goes to one honorable Rigade Gachagua, the, the recently impeached uh, former deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Uh, Rigade, let me advise you. Uh, just to know your line. Uh, here in Kenya, your dad did not have any history in the lineup of the Kenyan history. When you look at Jomo Kenyatta, is the father to one uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. Moses Mudamba Mudavadi is the father to one Musala Mudavadi. Jaramonga Gingo Dinga is the father to one Raila Molo Dinga. You did not know when to play your guitar. You are playing the guitar too much without moderation and limitation. That is what has brought you into troubles. Today, if you touch Raila, Raila Molo Dinga, there is those beneficiary of Raila Molo Dinga through the lineage of Ogingo Dinga. They will come out to protect one Raila Molo Dinga. Today, if you touch Uhuru Mwigei Kenyatta, those who benefited and the beneficiaries of Jomo Kenyatta, they will come out. Today, if you touch uh, Mselia Mudabadi, those who benefited to Mudamba, the father to Mselia Mudabadi,